welcome to my channel today I'm here again with uh, something interesting something new and uh, I'm right now in my I mean uh, lab to show you uh, today something very interesting and exciting uh, I mean in a chemical uh, in a chemistry lab, lab you are supposed to I mean weigh number of things you need to calculate or measure weight of different samples organic samples uh, and for that uh, precision you precision is also needed and accuracy is needed and for that you need an analytical balance a proper analytical balance so today I'm going to show you what is an analytical balance or an a tear balance it is also called a tear balance or an electronic balance or an analytical balance and uh, 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 why uh, how, why and how it is designed and uh, why uh, I mean uh, we use this analytical balance what are the reasons behind it and how does it work and uh, what is the principle of its working right because every instrument it has got a principle on which it works so uh, I'm professor dr. Moina after mobile from dr. M. Mekazi this is dr. M. Mekazi Institute of Chemistry University of Sin Jamshoro. So let's uh, move towards our analytical balance and let's see what we are going to do now. So I'm here with my analytical balance with me and uh, now I'm going to show you how it works and what it looks like and uh, uh, how it works. So let's move on. So this is my analytical balance. Well, it looks a little messy because you know it's been used by I mean a um, lot of students they are working on it and students are mostly careless but uh, uh, well this is a, an analytical balance and you can call it a analytical balance or a tear balance or an electronic balance it is designed to weigh very small minute samples in the sub milligram range it is extremely sensitive it's very sensitive right it's extremely sensitive laboratory instrument right and you need a need to put it on a flat surface clean flat surface so that um, it should be I mean uh, well placed and uh, for its uh, for, to, for the precise I mean accuracy and precise measurements of minute samples it can measure up to I mean three digits as you can see here so it has got this weighing pan inside it right and as and it's small in size to accommodate smaller samples okay now it has also got a top loading window um to uh right so that we can even load it from here we can put the flasks or anything and we can weigh a flask right and you can close it because you need to close all these left and right it has got this right window and this left windows these windows are supposed to be closed when you are weighing the sample when you are going to weigh your sample because the air currents are passing and they can disturb this very sensitive instrument right so uh, you need to be very careful and the glass doors are these are all glass doors and they are I mean supposed to be closed when the samples are supposed to be weighed as you simply say that this glass coverage this all glass coverage it prevents the samples to be weighed without dust without air currents or any other vibrations right and as I've just mentioned the balance must be placed on a very plain stable surface it has a you can say a level indicator here over and uh, adjustable feet to get results right has got uh, adjustable feet to get results that are accounted as reliable ones now uh, we can uh, it has got a print option also so i mean we can take printouts with this print option given in this balance it works on the principle now every instrument you know as i've mentioned every instrument works on a principle so it works on the principle of magnetic force restoration 
uh, measuring solids, liquids, even powders, even granular substances like this sugar, right? I have with me here sugar granules. So it can measure, I mean, things um, like that. And it can be, okay, after measurements, it should supposed to be cleaned after each measurement by carefully removing the pan, okay? And or wipe it with, and replace it at, even uh, or spills must be or can be mopped by brushes and uh, the glass doors they are supposed to be cleaned properly inside and outside inside and outside with ethanol always clean up the spillage keep that thing in your mind here it's not i mean clean because you know carelessly it's been used but uh, uh, it is you are supposed to I mean clean it uh, clean clean the spillage when I mean immediately after using it right with some ethanols or 80% ethanol is recommended so this is a top loading balance and permits measurements quickly and easy these are and they are electric and display a digital readouts here you can see here it has a tear function also here you can see a tear function a feature or that card what does this tear function t-a-r-e it's very interesting it the, i will show you now how to measure but first you should know what are the functions in it then off and on function then calculating the i mean the menu then tear then the units that you are supposed to measure in, and then the printout so uh the tear feature that corresponds what to reset it to the zero again it will reset it to the zero when you press the tear function it will reset it to the zero and then we can put some granules or anything over our i mean the sample uh, as a sample and if you are using a paper for i mean uh, putting the sample to be weighed you will just put i mean uh, you can put some granules or the weight you are supposed to weigh over this pa paper piece of paper uh, and weight that weight and that weight is the actual weight of the granules that would be i mean because you press the tear button so it will again reset this balance to zero as the tear function resets the balance to the zero so that weight that uh, you will are going to get of the granules uh, would be there only the paper the weight of the paper would be zero when you press this tear button keep that thing in your mind and uh, just for the precautionary sake keep that thing in your mind that if these windows are open if they are left open and if you are measuring your sample then of course you are not going to get the precise results why because the air currents that are passing through in the lab would not let it give a precise results which you are looking for so you need to close the all the windows the all the three windows the left the left window the right window and the top one that is not used right now before weighing down your i mean required sample okay now i will show you how you are going to weigh your weighing balance so now i press the on button right and now let it now you can see 0, 0.00 up to three uh, digits it can measure okay now i'm going to put my paper so uh, over which i'm going to weigh the granules the sugar granules right so i'm going to put it over here and let's see what happens wow you can see it's as the windows are all closed so there wouldn't be any i mean disturbance leave it there for a while let it be stable stable enough so it's showing us 0.578 so now you do not we do not need this weight we are going to reset it back to zero so that we can uh, have the original weight of our of our sample to be weighed okay we would need our samples weight so what i'm going to do i'm going to press the stair button let's see what happens oh yes it becomes zero see it resets back to zero let it settle down still there's one so let it settle down for a while yes now you can see it's zero so now i'm going to add the weight of my sample i'm going to add my sample so that we can weigh it okay now i have kept a small piece of paper in it now i'm going as i've teared it to zero level now i'm going to add some granules over it right and close the window 
and see the weight oh wow it's almost 0.96 you let it set, settle for a while it's almost 0.962 grams of the granules that is the weight of my granules only okay keep that thing in your mind the, this is only the weight of the sample which we have kept over here in over it right you can see the granules this is the actual weight of the granules the weight of the paper is not included as we pressed the tiered button right so the tear button was pressed and it resets it back to zero and now after that i added the i mean i poured the i mean these granules over it and you got the exact weight of your sample so this is how you can measure your samples easily in this analytical balance it's a great balance i mean it's a great uh, lab instrument and uh, it can give you the precise accurate results you are looking for so i hope you now know how to use this great analytical balance right you can see it from here you can see it from this side and you can even see it from this side how it looks like i hope you like this video and today you have learned how to use an analytical balance in your lab Thank you very much.